Hello. In this video, we will be discussing different important aspects that should be considered when we start estimating limit of detection or decision limit and detection capability. So first we should consider which approach do we use to estimate them. And the first question actually that we must answer is whether limit of detection is necessary at all. For example, if we are analyzing uh, samples that have analyte concentration significantly higher than the LOD of the method, then estimating limit of detection is actually not necessary. Secondly, uh, very often some standard has to be followed. And these standards quite often actually say already which approach should be used to estimate limit of detection. Thirdly, we must answer a question whether uh, a critical decision is really based on this limit of detection value. For example, if we are analyzing an athlete, athlete's blood and we are trying to detect some uh, forbidden uh, doping compound from the blood, then uh, we really have to be very certain that our decision whether this doping compound is detected or not should be correct. So if the answer to this question is yes, then we should use uh, decision limit and detection capability and these should be uh, estimated using approaches that are more complex and do not make so many assumptions and simplifications. However, if the answer is no, then we suggest using the following equation that uses the standard deviation of residuals to calculate limit of detection. However, this approach still assumes linearity and homoscedasticity. So let's look at them. First, uh, the data should be in range of limit of detection and the data should be linear Otherwise, the limit of detection value will be somewhat um, wrongly uh, estimated. Uh, also, the data should be homoscedastic. This means that uh, as the concentration uh, increases, the variability in the intensity scale should be the same. So what we suggest is that we, you should use uh, quite a narrow concentration range. And in that case, it is quite often that homoscedasticity uh, can be assumed correctly. Other approaches how to estimate whether the data is heteroscedastic can be found in the materials of the uh, course. Some other uh, uh, important uh, aspects also that should be known is that limit of detection uh, varies between measurement series and also between days. So a regular re-evaluation of limit of detection and also uh, decision limit and detection capability is highly recommended. Secondly, not all approaches are quite fitting for all the analytical methods. So this means that, for example, for LCMS-MS, it's quite difficult to get a normal uh, result for a blank sample if we have only noise. So integrating this kind of a chromatogram can be quite complex. Also, it must be remembered that uh, matrix matching is important in limit of detection. So hopefully now uh, you have a better understanding of how to choose between different uh, approaches to estimate limit of detection or uh, decision limit and detection capability. And more information about this can be found in the materials of the course.